the reset button, episode 43, back right here at Vicky TMD. Welcome, everybody. Travis back, as always, with my main man with the plan, Tannen. What's going on another week? How you been? Hey, everyone, uh, you can always catch me on, on my Twitter, or Twitter, as you kids like to call it. Oh, Tannen's bum at Twitter. Um, you can also catch Travis here at the Habiki TMD. Holy fucking shit. You got it right. 43 episodes and you got my Twitter handle right. I'm so proud I could burst. Continue, Tana. Don't curse me because the next one, the next, next one, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the fucking wrong again. Um, <laughs> also, you can check us out on our Facebook page. I've noticed it's getting a little bit more love. Let's go ahead and keep that traction up. I really like that. Uh, I love the fact that 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 gets uh, a little bit more love of the reset button on the Facebook. Um, you can also check me out on Facebook. It's my fucking name. I mean, come on. How many Tan and Pauls do you know? There's there's like two of them in the whole freaking world. So uh, two. Uh, feel free to go ahead and that one out. Um, <laughs> there, there might be three. Um, don't confuse that with Tanner, though, because that guy is a bastard. Um, <laughs> also... Um, uh, yeah, as always, uh, like and subscribe um, at the Hibiki TMD channel, um, and also enjoy the other shows that are provided by this channel, Slam Pigs, uh, just um, everything, all that good stuff, my Tannen's trailers, Travis's other many projects. See, look. Never, I found out a great see, way to, like, take... Now, you got, you got me fucking blubbering on the delivery. Either no, way. I was going to say, I found a great way over time to take my 316 shows and wrap it up. I just say, all the goodness, right here, Hibiki TMD. And as always, at the Hibiki TMD, like Tannen said. But Tannen, you guys heard her giggling and Tannen's silliness. We're not alone. It's been a minute, but we're so excited and thrilled to finally have a guest back on the show. You guys that have subscribed to this channel, you're no stranger to this gal. Jenna Lee from Jenna Lee's Beauty Slam. Welcome from Sunset Stripped, my co-host there. First time ever guest on the reset button. So excited to have you. Thank you for agreeing to come on. And where can everyone catch you and what you do? I'm excited to be here. Um, people in like a goober and we just started um as always i am jenna lee the internet's girl next door and you can find me at jenna lee's beauty slam on youtube on twitter rambling about probably everything that might piss you off i am miss jenna underscore lee and i have two instagram handles because i'm just that important a listers are like that you know so i have miss underscore jenna underscore lee and jenna's beauty Slam, check both of those out and hang out with me on Snapchat. I am cute cat lady, and of course, with Travis on Sunset Strip right here in Hibiki TMD land. Ow, Ta -da. very good, very good, <laughs> very, and very nicely presented. <laughs> I want to say a lot of a lot of you know, your listeners and viewers from your channel that might be listening to this. They don't know you're actually a gamer at heart, you, you love platformers. We talk about all fair, so. Really glad to have you here. Uh, before we get down to anything, though, Jenna, when, when, what would you say the age that you got into video games? Very young? Or was it a little bit later in the life? Or was it always just kind of there and you just were always down with some gaming? Um, I actually, some of my earliest memories, and oh, I'm showing my age here, but the original Atari system. I can remember my dad had this little portable black and white TV that he had had since he was a kid. And for some reason, that had just become the Atari TV because we were just playing Pac-Man. So at the time, you know, it was like 1983. You didn't really need vivid Technicolor to play Pac-Man. But every day when he would get home from work, and it was like the old school black joystick with just a red button, like the original, you know, before all the controllers got really fancy and crazy. But yeah, he'd come home every day and we would play Pac-Man for hours and uh we were hooked on that for a long time and i remember when the original nes came out really wanting that and my cousin had one and really liking like of course super mario brothers and duck hunt because that comes with it but really cracking out on like excite bike and yeah from age two on video games have just kind of always been even if not something i'm constantly playing or 
focused on something that's always kind of in the periphery. Tannen, I feel like Excite Bike back in the day, especially when we were all kids, was oh, one of those yeah. first games that like you could truly go balls deep in with the track editor and stuff. Yeah. So far ahead of its time. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I actually uh, dive going back and playing it now on the mini. It is, it is one of those things that blows me away. As a kid, I, you know, I was so terrible at the track editor. <laughs> like I was, <laughs> it's just like I would make these tracks that were just bullshittingly fucking dumb. You know, now, <laughs> now I'm, now I'm kind of getting into it where it's just, you know, now it's just like, oh wow, like, I'm, like I'm, I'm doing my like 2D version of Mario Kart here with these jumps and everything. But like <laughs> back then, it was just, it was so funny. I, I was kind of, I was kind of dumb when it came down to, to the whole excited by track editor. My uncle, on the other hand, wow, he could make some damn tracks that were actually playable. Yeah, I feel like as a kid, but, you yeah, just put like sixteen yeah, yeah, ramps yeah, in a you row. Hand a four, yeah, you, hand a, you hand a four year old a thing, and you're like, hey, build a track, and it's just going to be like, yeah, cool, I'm going to build the fucking impossible. So, right. <laughs> yeah, but. Needless to say, Jenna, thank you and welcome. And before we get down to business with the what you've been playing at Tannen, you took a little little trip again. You got some experiences to share. Where'd you go? What did you do? Well, Karen and I are um some of you know we're part of a uh, a paranormal group. Um, and that's exactly how it sounds. That's uh what we do. We, you know, we go out, her and I are um, the researchers of the group, basically, anytime there's a historical site or something like that, or even a private house, we research the living hell out of it. Um, and try to dig up everything that we can, even if it comes down to like going to a library and digging up handwritten records from, you know, <laughs> what can I say, even like this far back as the Revolutionary War and post, even that era. Um, so anyway, though, that, that's our job within this group. And uh, so we're part of this paranormal group. And this past weekend was what, what is known as the Gettysburg Bash. And basically, it is a convention. Um, there was all kinds of people there. But as far as paranormal, paranormal groups go, it was even more so. I mean, you had you had ghost hunters. You had ufologists. You had demonologists. You had uh, Bigfoot enthusiasts. Um, so really, really a the monster truck. I know. Huh? Sorry. Yeah. Yo, you know what? That would have been awesome. If that, if, if the actual Bigfoot monster truck would have been there, I probably would have begged to sit in the driver's seat again. Cause I sat in it when I was about five years old, but anyway, <laughs> the game, <laughs> fucking sucks. Bigger. but to, to bring it full <laughs> circle, the Bigfoot game is terrible. Go ahead, Dan. <laughs> But no, it was just great. I mean, you know, it was just a, a really good, a really nice gathering of people. Everybody was really awesome. And you had other companies there, too. You had um, uh, people like uh, Deadly Grounds, which was a coffee company. Um, out of Connecticut. And, out of, yeah, based out of Connecticut. And here they are in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, people from New York, New Jersey, Chicago, Ohio. Um, and you had... You had yeah, convention that you can actually attend. You had you had people from um, if you're familiar with the show Go Ghost Hunters, you had a member of the the, the Taps guy. He was one of one of their members was there. Um, so it was just uh, oh, and also like I don't know if you guys ever watched Travel Discovery, but like there was even a booth for um, you know, Ghost of Shepherdstown. Um, so. Uh, So, um, anyway, for those who can't uh, tell, that's Karen in the background giving Tanner. Yeah, for, for those who can't tell, that's Karen in the background. I would edit that remark out if you could, Travis. Because <laughs> that's, a, that's a big boom bomb right there that you just said out loud. Well, I don't want the listeners to be like, who's that? Yeah, yeah, I well, want them to be well, in the know. It's kind of whisper, but also, you no, know, but, but it was it was a really good time. I mean, um, one of the highlights that I had was uh, the Batmobile from the original fucking 1989 movie was there. And it was just great. Um, we, we, we stumbled upon it the first night. The first night we were there, we went downstairs and spoke to Sarah. We looked over and was like, fucking shit, that's the Batmobile. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Karen wandered away. But either way, we, we like the next thing we know, we are basically, you know, like we're not hurting it, but we are crawling all over, opposing all over this Batmobile. Well, there's. 
Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Karen, Karen's like tr- really trying to take her time around it, and not touching it. I just casually walk up to it and lean on it. Like, <laughs> you know what? There's no alarm on this. I just go up and eat a sandwich on it. I said for the Joker. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there was a lot. There was a lot of Joker jokes made and, and um the guy the guy uh he basically took over from that other dude that dressed up as batman went to children's right. hospitals and stuff he took over for lenny and um you know still like was like basically a, a motivational speaker um and then you had all, all kinds of uh, all these like metal and rock bands there it was, it was just a really really awesome situation but yeah i um can say that i've um <laughs> as i wrote to you earlier i did basically fuck the original batman <laughs> Yeah, guys, imagine being at your everyday job. You know, work sucks, right? You're in the grind. You go to check your phone, and you just get a DM from one of your best friends saying, I fucked the Batmobile, and you're just wrapping your head around that for, like, hours. Like, what does that mean? But, yeah, there it is. Well, yeah, there was a... I mean, you know, as I said, um, when I went through my pictures of this whole convention, most of the photos were taken from my phone. At least <laughs> when we were at the Batmobile, <laughs> as I said, it was middle of the night, early morning, like full access. And, you know, we didn't hurt it or harm it. You know, like <laughs> it was like a no harm done kind of kind of thing. You're but we did, yeah, You're we definitely gentleman. caressed it and loved it. it for for being for both of us being really huge Batman fans, it was an opportunity of pretty much a lifetime, and for nobody to come out and yell at us, that was. <laughs> Um, other than that, usually I kick it to Tannen this time. We haven't had a guest in a while, so I'm going to be classy about it. Jenna, if you have it all, what have you been playing this week? Honestly, I am, I don't have any consoles right now. I have a 3DS and that's what I crack on. That counts. So, that counts. Yeah. That counts. What, what, Does it? Okay. Yeah. What, what have you been playing on, on the 3DS? Mario Kart as per usual, and I actually got uh, an old Yoshi's Island game that I had been wanting forever. So I've been playing Yoshi's Island DS. Like I'm obsessed oh, nice. with yeah, yeah, the platform. The the 3DS version of that. Yes, yes, because yeah, I had the because really awesome, you can select it, different characters. Yes, and uh, the one for. Game Boy Advance, I had it when I had the DS Lite with the backwards compatibility and would love for that to come out for 3DS as well. Just because the music, like I can hear, hear the music in my head. That, da, 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 da. <laughs> you know, I always... It's one of those games that's so deceptively cute. Oh yeah. It is, I, 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 like, I've, been, I've been playing the original Oh, yeah, she's island here and there um, on the mini, and 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 I forgot how much. Like, anytime I get hit though, and like oh. Baby Mario cries, I, put I on instantly mute. have a fucking panic attack. Yeah, I literally <laughs> when I go back and play Yoshi's Island, <laughs> when I go back and play Yoshi's Island, as great as like the OST is for the stage level songs, and so I I have to play it on mute. Just that, ah, ah, just over and fucking over. <laughs> I never. Yeah, played... that, it just yeah, it it's unnerving. Is it like that in the uh, the quote remake for the for the 3DS Jenna? That same cringy sound. He cries, but it, it's not nearly as um. Really, you get the big bubble counter on top. That's like depend. You know how many stars you get is how many hit points you get before yeah. the baby. The yeah, you have a counter, and and that is more what you see and hear is the T. Oh really? Right. Yeah. Of the countdown, you hear Mario crying, but really, once you get used to the dink, dink, that's just as unnerving because you're like shit, shit, you know. I'm you know, you're take my baby away. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like don't take my baby. Exactly. Very nice. And, and and by all means, the 3DS absolutely counts as gaming. Hell, you could have said I've been playing fucking Candy Crush, and that would have counted. It's a game. Anyone that caught our le- episode last week, you know the state of emulation. Tannen gave me Lord of the Rings for GBA. I literally, dude, I went to like four or five sites. I could not get a ROM. So what I'm going to do to make amends, to make it up, 
We're both going to review Ninja Gaiden, your game I gave you for NES last week. Okay. Fair yeah. Um, Ninja Gaiden has aged extremely fucking well. Yeah. That is a, that is a game that I, I, you know, like, I hadn't played it, <laughs> the original, at least, in such a long time. And um, going back to it, I have had so much fun with it. Um, I mean, the jumping mechanics off the wall is, is a little bit, you know, kind of tricky. Um, it, they definitely, if it wasn't for that game, you wouldn't have the off the wall mechanics that Batman ended up having. I agree. Um, uh, you know, because with Batman, you know, he would look behind him and it was very smooth to jump wall to wall. This one, I mean, it, it is kind of clunky, but it's still, I, I'm still like so into playing it. Um, you know, it, it is Nintendo hard. You do have, like, if you go uh, further in the screen and then you turn back, hey, that guy you just killed has respawned. But, um, I, I just, yeah. you know, I've, I've really enjoyed <laughs> that game. It's, it's like a fast paced fucking, uh, Castlevania to me <laughs> with really hard wall jumping. Exactly. And it's one of those games we talk about all the time. It, it's, it's NES hard. It will make you frustrated, but it's not that type of frustrated like the games, but you want to keep trudging through. It makes you want to yeah. keep going. Um, and my biggest complaint, you know, the nail on the head, man, is that respawn of enemy. You literally, you can move like a centimeter and the enemy's back. Um, but that's, just, back, that's yeah. a sign of the And, and then you move another direction in the other, like, like I got fucking like double penetrated by these boxer guys. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't get away from him at all. It was just, just because of the way that I was moving. And it was like, dude, I barely even looked in that direction. And fuck that guy's back. So, be, oh, fuck, now there's two of them. And you know, every time I would try to drop down, it was just the timing was, oh, my God. But Tannen, yes. I feel like it, it's very fair to say this is a must play if you're a fan of retro gaming. And I feel like, and I don't know if you played two or three, but this is by far the easiest of the Ninja Gaiden games. Because three is impossible just because of the last boss... Um, and two is a good game, but Jesus fucking Christ is it hard. The, the yeah, two threw two in stuff. Hard. I don't know if you remember threw in like wind effects and stuff like that. They would, which was it, it was cool, but man, so hard. they gave it a new they gave it a new physics, but it definitely handed to the fucking difficulty of it. Now this one, this one, I mean, you know, still now looking back, it's still it's, it's going to be my favorite one. Um, you know, it's just simple meat and potatoes. Um, you know, it, as I said, it's aged really well. It still is a playable yeah. fucking game. Maybe um, one of the NES games that have aged the best out of all of them, in my opinion. Yeah. Another yeah. great thing about the game are the tremendous anime-style cutscenes and the fucking music, man. That music is incredible, flat out. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Hey, not to not to speed this along, but I am, it is getting like one o'clock. No, no, I, totally. We are. It's game of the week. Um, We're at the end of the road, like yeah, boys, men, wrapping uh, up. Yeah, we, but edit that part out where I just said that though, because you know I don't want to be a. Well, dick. then I lose my boys um, to men reference, and all is lost. So I'm gonna yeah. do it then. <laughs> okay, but yeah, game of the week, Travis. Um, man, yeah, okay. So you so you mix you missed my game of the week. Due to due to what's understandably emulations, I'm not going to throw you GBA games anymore. Um, I'm going to try to make it more accessible uh, um, until we get this whole thing down, where we have access to emulation. Fair enough. Um, uh, so I mean, with that said, you know, I I said that we were. You're maybe going to be picking epics. Um, I'm actually going to be swaying from that. I want you to go back. I want you to jack into a Super Nintendo somehow, some way, and I want you to play to this 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 week. Steam. Do you mind if I pick a theme? By all means. Okay. This week's theme is flight. And you're space. gonna give me fucking pilot or, wings, or aren't you? either or. No, I'm okay. going to give you Star Fox. I'm going to give you a good fucking game. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was going to give you Star Fox 2. I'm not an asshole. So yeah, you kind of mini reviewed Star over. Fox 2 but last listen, week. But listen, no, it's not just Star Fox. I want you to pick. I want you to play through the hardest path on it, and try your best to beat it. Yeah, there's yeah. three paths. Yeah, you got to go for the one that's the hardest one. Fair it's enough. It's a bitch. For you, <laughs> since emulation is a no-go lately, like we said, and you got the SNES Mini and the NES well, Mini. Yeah, I was about to say, emulation on those two systems is, uh, I'm full access. But see, I'm thinking flight. Is Pilot Wings on the SNES Mini? 
Yes, it is, and I have it. Pilot wings for Tannen. There you go. Oh, you, hey, yeah. you picked now flight, you, man. You, it's uh, on you. Actually, that game's not bad. You know what? That game's not bad. I'll, I like it way better and, than the 64. I'm try to play. Yeah. You know what? No, I have the 64 one, too, so I might come at you with both. Woo-chow! Hit me with your best shot, Pat Benatar. I'm ready for it. Hit me with both <laughs> next week. Man, once again, all apologies. Jenna Lee will get you back on once again on a future episode. Tannen, my manin. One more time, where can everybody catch you? And all that good uh, you can catch me at O Tannen's Bomb at Twitter. You can also catch me on Facebook if you ever want to. Go ahead and track me down, like I said. Um, as well as check us out at the reset button at Facebook. Also, be sure to check Travis out at the Habiki TMD at Twitter, as well as his channel the habiki tmd and always remember to watch our show like and subscribe the reset button with tannin and travis travis do you have anything else to add to this well i mean you've never messed up the title of the show so you didn't have to accentuate the but i'm so goddamn proud like i said i can burst that you got it right twice in one episode other than that no as always follow me on twitter at the habiki t slam pigs podcast the reset button never drew a dime sunset stripped all the fucking goodness right here 